the legacy I'd like to leave is you can achieve anything you can if you set your mind to it. Don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do it. A new chapter for national hero Joseph Schooling as the nation's first and only Olympic champion calls time on his swimming career. Stay with us. Schooling has announced his retirement from competitive swimming. It calls time on a glorious career that saw him break an Olympic record, beat the legendary Michael Phelps and earned podium finishes at all major games. In a special sit-down interview with CNA's Alif Amsha, a day before he announced his retirement, the 28-year-old says he's turning his focus to growing his swim school and help develop the next generation of champions in the pool. It comes a time where everyone has to flip the page, turn a new chapter, and this is my time to do that. This is my official retirement. With those words, Singapore's beloved sporting son bids farewell to an illustrious swimming career, a whirlwind journey that took him to Olympic glory and placed Singapore on the world sporting map. We have been planning this. It has been in the back of my mind for quite some time. I was ready to do something else. I didn't get the excitement that I had waking up at four years old. I was still grinding through the possibilities of making it to Paris. I'd always told myself that I'd finish uh, when I was 29. I believe that this changes for the better. And my time just came a bit earlier than expected. And having to change that identity, um, change that perception, change the routine, it is pretty taxing. Um, it is pretty scary. But at the same time, as athletes, I think it's important not to put your entire identity around your sport. And that's when you start honing in other skills. And when one chapter closes, another chapter opens, right, Joe? Absolutely. So what future plans do you have now that you're putting the competitive days behind? First things first on the business side, right? Finance and sports, I'm getting to the VC space on the swim school, try to grow my swim school as much as possible, teach kids to be water safe. But I want to give back to the sporting society. I don't want to be, I don't want to vanish. I think there's a lot that I can offer. And there are a lot of hurdles that I've had to overcome along with my parents and team, which I can impart on the younger athletes. The whole goal is to make sure that they can go further than the previous generation. And if time is of essence, if they can understand this knowledge earlier, quicker, why not? And even as he steps into new beginnings, Schooling says he'll look back at his historic 2016 triumph in Rio de Janeiro fondly, just like it was yesterday. During the medal ceremony, I was having a good time with Michael and taking pictures, making a walk around. And he asked, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go sleep. I'm, I'm beat, man. I'm tired. He's like, he looked at me and smiled, and he's like, nah, you're not going to sleep. He was right. I didn't sleep that night. After the Olympics, we can see the effect sports has on bringing a nation together, all the celebrations, the mood, um, like the mood people are in. I didn't expect that personally. It was a huge eye opener. But I hope that shows everyone how big winning at that stage can do for our country. But I do believe that we have a lot more room to grow. So let's use that as a springboard to get to where we want to be. And for the man who loves being first, he hopes his successes will leave a lasting impact on future generations. I still am competitive. You can't, you can't put that behind. You just got to channel that competitiveness into a different, different realm, a different space. Someone said to me, um, people are going to remember you not for your achievements, not for your accomplishments, but how you made them feel. And while your achievements will give you that platform to inspire change and to affect others, I do believe the legacy I'd like to leave is you can achieve anything you can if you set your mind to it. Don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do it. And Aleph takes a look back at Joseph Schooling's career highs over the past decade.